<laughs> Adam Thank McKay you. is killing it this year. He's got another movie coming out. I didn't hear a lot of people that like don't look up. So I don't. I mean, I guess he's killing it. What? In the sense I've of, heard a ton of people like don't. I haven't heard anybody not like don't look up. I just I, I, I heard a couple s- friends that said that they didn't like it. But I also a lot of the people that I've seen report that they don't like it, like in the news media, are also like the things that are being satired in the movie. So it's hard to be like, oh, maybe you guys might just be kind of upset that this movie's just like the media is kind of shitty and downplays very serious issues. I mean, my, even my conservative friend like that. And I like I was totally expecting him to not like it because of what it's about. And he was like, no, dude, that movie was insane. He probably didn't understand anything. No. <laughs> He's a better filmmaker than you are. Damn. Well, Eric's not a filmmaker, so it's fine. <laughs> I just meant uh, has he seen Deadbeat and the selfish ones? Hello. <laughs> um, Playing in uh, which film festivals? <laughs> Uh, the uh, 2015. <laughs> uh, He's doing, um, but Adam McKay is doing something on uh, Apple TV called Bad Blood. It's about the Theranos lady. You know who that is? Nope. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Elizabeth Smart? Uh, Holmes. 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 Elizabeth yeah. Smart was the girl that got kidnapped. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. It's, it's she like frauded everybody in the medical thing. I remember watching a ton of documentaries about that lady. Yeah. What yeah, it was it popped off a lot for her what like a two years ago three years ago yeah and she like she did like some medical company and she was a fraud it was like a blood test thing for people with diabetes i think yeah and truthfully like and a lot of people she her trial just wrapped up and she's guilty on a few things but they didn't find her guilty on everything a lot of people are like confused mm-hmm. and the reasoning i've heard behind like because she didn't get um uh, convicted on like the most serious parts of it. And a lot of the reasoning that I've heard is like, well, the big reasons, because it's just not, it wasn't successful enough of a fraud. Like people did get hurt and like, but it was such a selective amount of people in comparison to like the cases with like the opioid crisis. Yeah. But she was a billionaire though. Oh yeah. She was like, she made money, but they're saying like the, it's harder to get those more serious charges when it's like, you know, a smaller amount of people, which is fucked up. I'm not saying that's right, but that's the thing I've heard is like, yeah, just straight up. You didn't get like the big time jail sentences because wasn't big enough for him. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Jennifer Lawrence is playing her. What does she look like? Does she look like that? They, I, I can picture with hair and makeup, Jennifer Lawrence doing pretty good with that. Because when start oh, yeah, oh, spot yeah. on, actually. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence would. They actually look really similar. I was going to say, uh, she's, it's hard, like, uh, she's also vaguely blonde person, but, uh, mm. yeah, I think I can't, I can't remember her exact face shape, but yeah, with hair and makeup, I feel that's a good cast Did they without start, looking it up. They started filming already. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's going to come out. Casting she, call. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence is pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think she was pregnant, like all through <laughs> Like she got pregnant during the filming of Don't Look Up, I think. Yeah, I yeah. am like the article I'm reading is a uh, it's about bad blood because Adam McKay did it and Jennifer Lawrence did it. And obviously Don't Look Up. Yeah. And they were asking if uh, they were asking Adam McKay if she was going to be in the next one. And he was like, oh, no, she's pregnant. I don't want to bother her. She kind of disappeared for a while, right? She did. She well, doesn't miss either, though. If you notice, all of her movies are really good. In my opinion, you could arguably don't look up if you don't like it. You don't like it. But I heard yeah. Mother was pretty terrible. Oh, Mother was bad. I forgot about that one. Uh, there was like, a period, I think, where she did like because she did like a whole career's worth of movies in like all the different genres over mm-hmm. like a four year period where it was like mm-hmm. The Hunger Games, Silver Linings Playbook. Like it just kept fucking rolling. And so I think eventually part of her dis- like disappearing, it felt like she disappeared when really she just like adopted a more regular film schedule, schedule. yeah, yeah. Well, I think you are she... right jake she did the hunger games um silver linings playbook um fuck she did other ones too i just can't remember which ones. Oh, serena because she did like all those movies with bradley cooper american hustle and yeah. that was all within like a two-year time span yeah well, like you know a lot of kids a lot of like actors do like you look at the harry potter trio it's like they did harry potter and then like 
they, that's where she started. It was like, oh yeah, it was not as long of a series. It was only a trilogy, but mm-hmm. yeah, it was like, oh, nailed it. Did that good like launching pad thing. I mean, and a lot and a lot of people struggle after that though when they Daniel when they're is killing it afterwards. Oh yeah, Ooh. but he's also super selective, Daniel Radcliffe. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah. he can be. He's like like yeah. he never he never has to work again, so he can pick any. Oh, he's do he's in something movie. too recently, actually. By the way. The last and thing I saw him in was the when he played a zombie. No, he's he's. I just saw it like two days ago, trending or something. He's uh, well, he's playing Weird Al Jankovic. Jankovic. Yankovic. That's what yeah. he's doing. I know who that is, but that's like who he's, he's playing. He's the lead. He's him. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see if it works. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, it probably it probably will. It's probably gonna be amazing. But you know what? I just love this this weird trend that we're doing now, seemingly for a couple of years of British actors playing American people. Yeah, American people, American characters. Like we just don't we we ex we've started outsourcing our uh, our acting talent now too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tom, you can do it. Andrew Garfield was able to to do it. Uh, a convincing American accent. You can do one, right, Tom? <laughs> you can do one, right, <laughs> like, Daniel? <laughs> uh, how is Tom's uh, Benedict Cumberbatch? American what accent? about you? It's very good. <laughs> yeah, Tom Holland actually does a really good job. Does he? Yeah. 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 He, he he fucks with people in interviews sometimes. He'll just go back and forth between his uh, American accent and his... I'm assuming you haven't seen like any of his Spider-Man movies then? Nope. Gotcha. No, he does pretty good. I have not. I've uh, I've only seen Toby's. Damn, poor Toby. Poor Toby hates everybody. It's so funny. Um, does he? Yeah, there's always like he's not like a fan of paparazzi or anything like that. Like, oh he well, just, yeah. Who that's is? Not hate, that's not hating well, everyone. That's well, like a regular person's reaction to stalker behavior. Yeah. Well, no, but he's like <laughs> not hates. It. He just it, he has created this. Um, this aura about him at least online that like he just doesn't want to be bothered in general like the fact that they brought him back as spider-man like even then they're like he's (laughs) they had to fucking pull teeth just to get him back not that he didn't want to do it but like he he just seems like he's got a spider-man money he he doesn't really need to be doing making movies like he's yeah he just wants to be left alone and he's not he's not out in the the limelight anymore and yeah he's created that aura of just like this older man who just wants to just be alone and not be bothered Yo. Out, me and jake are outside uh you're outside yeah, yeah. Listen. oh well, because you hear her barking i yeah. don't know i and i have the headphones on so i don't even know what she's barking at well, if we see anybody coming through your door, we'll let you know. It's locked, and I'm sure she'll get them before they get to me. <laughs> I honestly, I think Shay would not do anything. I think, no, I think she would <laughs> if it was, if she knew it was a threat. Like, you guys, she knows, and I'm there, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. But she doesn't even, like, trust when I, like, go to the get bathroom. Up. That's what like, I'm saying. I don't know why Eric <laughs> thinks she wouldn't do anything. Well, she doesn't do anything. She's just, like, she, she just, just doesn't <laughs> like it. She's, she like, when, I, when I'm sitting down, piss. when I'm sitting down, like, at, like, the desk and stuff, she's perfectly fine. She likes it. But the instant I'm, like, all right, I have to, like, go pick up a microphone or something, yeah. she's, like, no, fuck you and yeah. everything you stand for. <laughs> she wants you to stay still. Yeah. She only does um, that with men too, and specific ones. Like she does it with you, Jake. She does it with two of my uncles. She doesn't really do it with Eric too no. much. No, no she, she loves me. I don't know why. But, I think, it's, you know. I think uh, you're just not tall enough to be seen as a threat to her. Yeah. All well, right. you did have the long hair. So. <laughs> I did. Wait, she didn't like. She loves people with long hair. She might have confused you for a woman. Damn, I still get confused for a woman. Do you actually? I mean, oh, your haircut looks good now. I mean, I have the hat on. It looks kind of wild. I'm just going to go get a haircut today just so I can be like, yo, can you cut it so that it grows out normally? Because it's growing out wild. Um, well, but, if you want to grow it out, you have to get like regular haircuts to make sure it does that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I have haven't cut it in like a month. So now I'm like, I don't want to feel like I'm going backwards if I get a haircut. But anyway, 
Um, Welcome to the Hold for Everything podcast where we talk about hair. (laughs) (laughs) No, sorry. I was looking up the article because this was like the first thing I added on to the doc. Um, Josh Whedon. He don't give a fuck. (laughs) I saw him trending for like three days and I couldn't couldn't be asked to look at it. Okay, so we we went over. I think this might have been like one of the last episodes that we did before our big break. But uh, everyone pretty much bitched about Josh Whedon um, being an asshole. Gal Gadot came out. Ray Fisher said he was racist. Gal Gadot said he was. Uh, I don't know if she said he he. No, I've heard, I've, I think I remember a lot of the complaints being right. about how he's like a control freak and he's like super, like. Just he's got that shitty boss attitude where it's like everything has to go this specific way. And yeah, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to like fucking verbally assault you. Right. So, but, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was, no, that was uh, it. I was just saying that's a summary of, I think, the things that I remember, the complaints no, by yeah, and large. You were right. Ray Fisher said he was abusive and unprofessional. Um, he said on set on set on set treatment of the cast and crew of Justice League was gross, abusive, unprofessional and completely unacceptable. Uh, then the eraser of people of color from what? He said uh, the eraser. I don't know why. I don't know how to say that word, but why am I not finding any good articles about it? The lack of people of color from the 2017 Daredevil. Theatrical version of Justice League was neither an accident nor coincidence. So he's basically saying that we didn't had a say in in his lack of being in that movie. But I mean, we okay. So then we didn't. Uh, he a called. Lot here. He called. He called Ray Fish, Ray Fisher a bad actor. Yeah, that. Well, we were going to get to his response after I went through all this shit, but... Oh, sorry. Yeah. I just got no, shocked no. when I read this article. No, no, it's, like, it's fine. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Uh, Jason Momoa, back my, Fisher. He was my husband. I mean, he might be now. He broke I up know, with I know, he got wife. divorced. He can call me anytime he wants. He's, Slide he's, in the uh, DMs. He's dating Pete Davidson now. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fucking anyway. relentless. Uh, yeah, Gal- Davidson's taking everyone's exes. He's, he's, killing it. he's killing it. I haven't spoken to mine in two years. I'm sure he's got her too. Somewhere. Uh, Gal Gadot, she said, what did she say? She told an Israeli outlet, Free Palestine, kind of threatened my career and said, if I did something, he would make my career miserable. I was shaking trees as soon as I was shaking trees as soon as it happened. I think that's it? probably like a translation phrase. If she told an Israeli uh, an outlet, she's probably not like saying it in English. And I must say that the heads of Warner Bros, they took care of it. Going back to the sense of righteousness that I have, I just did what I felt like I had to do. And it was to tell people that it's not okay. Anyway. All right. So Gal Gadot, Ray Fisher, everyone pretty much hate this dude. Um, sorry. Now I'm reading other stuff about Ezra Miller landing on her body sexually but anyway uh yeah so your boy joss whedon basically responded the way that jess said he say that ray Ray fisher is a bad actor i'm not really sure what he said about everyone else but i think he what from what i read outside of this article is that he said that all of them were unprofessional as a cast in general um Um, i'm uh I am um, reading something now and his response basically in a nutshell is just so weird. Um, the weird part is because he's calling his mother sexy. Like he, he's calling oh, Josh he, Whedon he, is calling his own mom sexy. Yeah. He views his mother as difficult and sexy in his statement is what it says. Like it's okay. just quoted. It doesn't have a picture of the actual statement. But Why does why is that part of this statement? <laughs> I, I, that's what I don't get. Was that's like why, that's why my face was like that. That's why I was like, what the fuck does this have to do with it? They're just like, Joss, do you have anything to say? And they're, he's just like, all those cast members are pieces of shit. And my mom's hot. Like, that's that's his response. That's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Yeah. Like his response is like they misunderstood him and they're out to get him. And then it's like randomly, it's like okay. I viewed I viewed my mother as difficult and sexy. Like at the all right. <laughs> Maybe that's the wrong article. 
anyway, so uh, there's a New York somebody. Uh, there's a New York piece um, says uh, one woman described as a high level member of the Buffy production team claims Whedon and an actress engaged in romantic activity in her office while she was working, prompting her to leave the production. They were rolling around on the floor, making out says the profile. Uh, the woman is quoted as saying they would bang into my chair. These actions proves no respect for me and my work. I think that was during the shooting of Buffy, the vampire slayer. So I guess he's got a history of this and then he denied it. And then, I don't know. Whatever. Do you think Whedon's, is, Do you think Whedon's done? Do you think he's fine? He'll. Fe- he'll. I think he'll be fine. He just. Won't I be think he'll be to fine too. This shit. Like nobody liked the movie anyway. Like, he's gonna nobody- be. He's gonna be super. Like. Uh, he's gonna be super. Just like quiet. He's gonna be like a ghost person. Like a Woody Allen ghost, or. Yeah, basically, he's gonna he's- or or they're gonna have him on things and just not say that he's on it. This is just another example of the woke mob coming through <laughs> and canceling a strong male voice. We really the need woke left liberal. <laughs> we, we really need a we really need a conservative voice on this podcast just to exclusively for these moments. Just exclusively. to argue. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hold for everything podcast.